Hi, welcome to Crypto Revolution. I'm William Woody. Let's talk about some crypto. Of course, first of all, I must give you the disclaimer. This is not financial advice. Every move you make needs to be the product of your own conclusion done by research. You can't just say, But mother, the handsome man on the internet told me to invest and that's why I lost the fortune. Don't do that. I am here to give one man's thought. I am a rando on the internet. You don't know where I've been, and I don't know what's best for you. Now that that's covered, I would like to talk about Dagalon Mars. A cross between Elon Musk, he has that mission to go to Mars, and the Dogecoin, the little Shiba Inu there with his, with Elon's signature hairstyle. I am Dagalon. Dogalon Mars! Join me, and together we will reach the stars. Or at least, hopefully, Mars. Uh, they have hired a wonderful artist to draw these little comics that work as NFTs. Follow Dogalon Mars NFTs for all updates re regarding the first release of the Dogalon Martians NFT series featuring Gloomy Bear. In the first of many cross Atlantic. Yep, yeah, we got a lot of art here. Uh, different thoughts. Look after one another and look forward. Community has always been our greatest strengths. Has always been our greatest strength, excuse me. And it is one that we must depend on always. That's a nice sentiment. I like that. Dog is the species that will transport life to Mars. Got a lot of confidence. I like all of that. We are here to make a difference. To do that, we must support each other and never lose sight of our goal. Keep your eye on the prize, Martians. We've got lots of work to do, and I'm counting on you. So a fun little narrative. I like what I'm seeing. Um, and of course, it you might be tempted to pronounce it Doge Elon because of the portmanteau between Doge and Elon, but... The internet tells me that would be misguided, that it is preferred to be pronounced Dogalon. I will honor that. Here is their website. Gorgeous imagery. I am Dogalon, we know this. Uh, there's their Twitter and their Telegram. And they are selling this very well illustrated comic here. And you can buy them as NFTs. At this time, every single one of them is available. You might just be tempted to buy number one, but I don't know. If once the Dogalon Mars movie comes out, you're going to want to get the second issue, which is the introduction of this Scarface guy. Episode three has the spider crossed with a black sh Australian sheepdog. And my goodness. Four. Issue four is the introduction of Fingerhead and this spiky guy. I like... Uh, it's a very well-drawn little comic there. Um, so, let's uh, look at this overview. It has been growing aggressively more affordable in the last 24 hours, or the last week. It's getting cheaper. Now is the time to buy if you want to. Again, over the month, it is cheaper. Over three months the year. It had a spike. It got noticed big time in October. And now attention is waning. Here to date. Again, it's, it is affordable. If you've got money that you can afford to lose, you could do worse, I think. So, what is Dojala? Here, I'm pronouncing it wrong. What is Dogalon Mars? Elon. Dogalon Mars is a dog-themed meme coin on Ethereum and Polygon. It follows the examples of other successful dog coins like Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, and Floki Inu. Dogalon Mars plays on several popular themes in the meme coin space. 
It is, its name is a mixture of Do Dogecoin and Elon Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur who is an outspoken supporter of Doge. It alludes to Mars, a spin on the famous moon meme, implying that Dogalon will experience a massive upward movement. Beyond its tongue-in-cheek name, Dogalon Mars has managed to build a significant community with more than 300,000 Twitter followers and more than 84,000 followers on Telegram. And we see that is a little outdated, that Twitter follower thing, because as of now, it has half over half a million Twitter followers. It is growing. There is upward pressure. That's what I like to see. Who are the founders of Dogalon Mars? Just like is the case for its more prominent and more established cousins, the founder of this particular dog coin are unknown. That is somewhat of a common occurrence for meme coins, and investors are well advised due to due diligence with little known coins to avoid falling victim to malicious practices like rug pulls and exit scams. With that said, Elon has been on the market for several months, making the likelihood of a coin being a scam relatively small. Uh, in addition to that data suggesting it's not a scam, I want to show you something else. Now, you'll see their holders. Uh, the one I want to call your attention to is this massive 43.2% holder. Uh, that is not a whale. You're not going to see a big splash. Oh, I'm going to dump all my all my Dogalon here. See, that is what uh, Dogalon, the founders, donated to the Methuselah Foundation, which is dedicated to increasing human longevity. Uh, here, the, here is Methuselah's Twitter. Uh, Dogalon is so much more than a meme token. It's a mission token, focusing the Dogalon Mars community on the task of reducing suffering and extending healthy human lifespan on Earth and beyond. Of course, Methuselah is the uh, person in the book of Genesis, which is so hip right now. Uh, he lived to be almost a thousand years old. That's the, uh, what that, um, that's what that scripture says. So, Methu the name Methuselah now is associated with longevity. That's why they picked him for, that's why he is their, uh, poster child. But, uh... Yeah, Methuselah Foundation vows to steward Dogalon value long term. This was last year when Dogalon was just in its infancy. Uh, May 25th, 2021, Methuselah Foundation, which controls 43%. You'll remember, remember that number from just a moment ago in the holdings of the world's Dogalon Mars cryptocurrency announced today that it will manage those holdings to maximize the Elon's long-term value in order to advance the Foundation's mission. Methuselah, a biomedical charity whose mission is to extend the healthy human lifespan, received the Elon through a donation by Vitalik Buterin, a visionary computer programmer and co-founder of Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency. This is not a small-time player. Uh, the May 12th gift surprised the fast-growing Dogalon Mars community, which had expected Buterin to permanently retain his Elon holdings, removing them from cir circulation. See, if, if Buterin had held on to this, then that would look... That would look scammy, that would look rug-pulley, that would look whaley. Uh, he not only donated the this percentage, this massive percentage, to the Methuselah Foundation, but he then immediately burned the liquidity tokens. He forfeited his ability to profit from them. He can't get them back now. Uh, so I, I don't think this is fraudulent. Uh, people are noticing the difference of Dogalon Mars. And this is much re more recent. This is in the last couple of months, March 4th. A new report asks whether investors should bank on cryptos that are trying to make an impact. Buzz is building around the idea of crypto philanthropy, or donating cryptocurrency to worthy causes. A new article in Digital Journal suggests that crypto, which is changing how commerce is conducted, may soon begin transforming how the lar larger world works as well. 
we're proud that the example it cites is Dogalon Mars collaboration with Methuselah Foundation to send a prize-winning vascular tissue science experiment to the International Space Station where investigations can proceed without the gravity of Earth. This is a critical first step towards interplanetary space travel. I like all of this, guys. This is all very... This looks very on the level. I'm not inclined to think that this is some sort of a scammer. Uh, I like... Yeah, I, I just like what I'm looking at. This... Let's see, where is the... Do... Uh, as you can see, it's very affordable right now, down 11.5%. This is a fraction of a penny. Now, of course, keep in mind, this is a meme token. It is created to make money, not be money. Much like you can't go into McDonald's and say, Hey, I'd like to buy a quarter pounder with cheese with these Disney shares. It's not the way it works. This is not something you buy and wait for it to accrue interest. If you're looking to play the game, you buy when it's low, and you watch it like a hawk, and you decide to sell when it is high. You must be attentive, uh, and do not do this with money you cannot afford to lose. Alright guys, thanks for watching, invest wisely, and I'll see you next time.